Hello, Lonnie West with LHZ Preamps, and today I've got a topic that should really be a much longer video, but I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. We've transitioned from using the LF442 op amps into a new op amp. As we all know, this was a moving target when we started developing the LHZ Preamps. We were using the original chips that were used in HasLabs back in the 80s and 90s. Well, those have went out of production years ago, um, and now all the authorized distribution sources are now gone, so all that are left are resellers, uh, which means the market's now been flooded with uh, counterfeits and uh, copies, which are not uh, performing the same as the original op amps. So like HasLab's Inspector have done, we've moved over to a new op amp. Uh, there's a lot of brand awareness around that particular chip, um, so I thought this would be helpful to have a blind audio comparison. So what we're going to listen to are three samples of the exact same audio source. Uh, we're playing a couple different styles, um, finger style, both soft and hard, picking, soft and hard, and then finally a little string slapping as well. How we're doing this is pretty simple. We've recorded audio from a Spectre bass, and then we're running it through the same preamp with different chips. So there's three sets of samples one from the original LF442 op amp, and then two new op amps. So the challenge to you is to figure out which one's which. I ask you, I, there's not going to be any more talking after this. I'm just going to play the clips. Uh, we'll label the clips A, B, and C. Uh, so please leave your comments in the video below, or if you're watching this from the website, just use the form and, and select which one do you think is the LF442 and which one is something else. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. finger style. Okay, soft picking. Now some hard picking. And finally, a little string slapping. Okay, so it was not as simple as what you thought it was going to be, was it? It isn't. Um, these are very, very close. Uh, I'm not going to do a reveal for a few weeks, so comment in the video below and indicate A, B, or C, which one do you think is the original LF442CN op amp. And in a couple weeks, I'll do a reveal and kind of go into the findings in a little bit more detail. I'm hoping this will settle some of the questions and curiosity we have around op amps for these. Uh, we spent four months doing a lot of investigation and evaluation of different chips 
to come down to a few units that we feel are sonically indistinguishable. And uh, two of these are the ones that we've really selected that will win that. Uh, so again, looking forward to getting your comments and tune back in in a couple weeks for the reveal. Cheers.